Hey guys, before we get into the video, if you're needing a flashlight, Olight has a great deal going on right now. But even if the deal ends and when you see this, if you need a flashlight, get an Olight. These things are really good quality. They're awesome lights. They look good. A lot of them are magnetically chargeable, so you don't have to worry about changing out batteries and everything. They got tactical ones. They got ones that go on your firearm, copper ones. I mean, these things are super bright, super good quality, EDC ones, keychain ones, and also you'll be supporting another knife channel, Mike Emler's channel, that's whose link it is. Support a knife channel, get yourself an Olight. These things are badass. Everybody should have an Olight, and everybody needs a, a good flashlight, so use the link below. I love you guys, let's get to the video. Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And in this video, we're just going to show 10 great titanium knives. Titanium mean there's, meaning there's titanium on there somewhere, somehow. <laughs> and this is the Wee Knives Moat. This knife was sent to me by Stasa23 to check out. And it's just a cool little knife. I mean, it's a three-finger knife for me. But a cool little well-built knife, nevertheless. I mean, it is a small compact knife, but flips really good. And it does have internal stop pins. So titanium hardware, that was my fault. Titanium hardware, which if you know about Wii, Wii Knives has a great titanium hardware. They come in a couple different styles. And this one's about $160 something dollars. So it's not cheap, but... You know, Wii's quality, so you're getting a great knife, good geometry, nice thin blade, nice thin behind the edge, so cool little knife. Next up, we have another small knife. This is the Spyderco Brower. Now, that's G10, yes it is, but titanium on the other side, titanium frame lock, and you can see the lock bar insert right there, so... It has a fantastic lockup. This thing is rock solid and just a solid little knife. You can reverse flick it and you can thumb flick it. It has a lot of room for that thumb hole, but the ergos are amazing. You just have such a good grip. And if you're left-handed, it works out great for you because the hole on this side, you know, is so more so much more exposed than on this side. But just a solid little EDC knife. And these things are not cheap. They're not. They're like $180. But it is Spyderco. And it is really good quality. And it's nice and solid. Now this one's an S30V. And yeah. I just really like this knife. So solid. Such a good little knife. If you like medium to small knives. That's a great, great knife. Oh, I forgot to say. The, the Wiimote was an S35VM. Sorry about that. Next up. Now, this is a two-sun knife. And you're probably thinking, that's not titanium. But that's a titanium clip. And that's a titanium backspacer. And that's titanium liners. And you can see the lock bar insert in there. It's beautiful carbon fiber. White G10. And this is the two-sun Bronk. An s 90 V and it is a Tepe design. I forget who this designer is right here, but regardless, this thing is a really cool knife. The clip works great. The action's awesome. And man, is it a chunker. You really lock onto this thing. Now, the blade, you know, is a worn cliff blade, so it is set up for utility cuts. But not only does the blade set you up for utility cuts, the grip does too. Because of how wide it is, you really have a lot of leverage into your cuts or into the tip. I mean, you can get a lot of leverage behind this handle. Very, very cool. I can't wait to do the review on this. Now, as all knives, I do have a couple complaints, but this thing's pretty cool. You can take advantage of this front choil area and yeah. Two sun quality, white G10 looks so cool. It almost looks like micarta. Badass. The two sun bronc. While we're talking about two suns, let's talk about the two sun TS264. Like Stasa23 would say, belly for days, belly for days. M390, super thin behind the edge. And this is a thumb stud knife. 
titanium frame lock with beautiful micarta that just plays with the light. I mean, very good looking micarta. Well done. You can see the milling on the titanium. And the action on this thing is so good. You have so much leverage with this with the grip of this knife. It just rockets out. And then they second as the stop pin. So very, very locked up, very solid. The ergos, you can get nice and close to the blade. The 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 swell back here really fits in your hand nicely. It's very ergonomic and super duper slicey, like I said. Uh, cool blade. I mean, it's not going to be a utility cutter, but since it's so thin here in the belly, man, does it slice. Great action and just a very solid knife. You can take this screw out and it will stay together because of the way this back is, how it's a two-piece construction. You can take it apart and it'll still stay centered. Uh, still stay centered and the action will still be amazing with the one of only two screws taken out. So that's pretty solid. Next up, this knife just recently dropped and hopefully you got in on it. If you didn't, you definitely missed out. Hopefully you'll get it on the next batch. The Alien DX2. Now this was built by uh, Concept Knives and it is a titanium frame lock, titanium clip that works so good with a G10 um, other side, show side, but it also has a titanium liner on the inside. So it's very, very solid, great ergos, and ridiculously thin behind the edge. I mean, you almost can't even see how thin this hollow grind gets. It almost just disappears. I mean, it is super thin behind the edge. So this thing slices like a champ. Thin blade stock, very solid knife. The action is really good. The It does have a big flipper tab, but Man, it's just an awesome knife. Definitely unique. You don't see a lot of knives like this, and that's another thing that makes it cool because a lot of knives just look the same out there. This one's definitely stepped out of the box, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Great job, Alien Knives. This is S35VN, and they were actually pretty affordable. Um, I believe they were around the $160, $170 mark. Don't, don't quote me on that. I forget exactly, but very, very awesome. And since we're talking about Concept, let's bring out another one, the Concept Helix, which reminds me a little bit of that knife. They don't feel anything alike, but they kind of resemble each other. Now, if you really look closely, this is not a drop point. This is actually a Tonto, but cuts and feels and works just like a drop point so you kind of get the best of both worlds with this knife so that's what makes this knife unique now if you really wanted to and you don't like the look of a tanto you can easily sharpen this into a drop point just acting like it's a drop point just don't sharpen it like a tanto sharpen it just like a drop point it will turn into a drop point with one sharpening very very easy now this is a big knife or a large knife the flipper tab is up really high so you get a lot of leverage behind that and it flies out nice extremely deep carry clip just a cool knife you can get really close to that blade and get a really you know strong grip around this knife yeah just an awesome knife s35 vn i don't know if i said that but concept helix those are around 180 dollars to 180 190 some, somewhere in there now Next up, the Quest Custom Gent. Now, I know I've shown this a bunch of times on the channel. This is, this one's a little bit more expensive, but it is a custom, and it's about $500 for this. So, for a custom knife around $500 from the U.S., that's pretty good. Um, it is a full-size knife. I wouldn't consider this a worn cliff, but they call it a worn cliff. The leverage you get from the flipper tab is really good. S35VN, titanium, and well done marbled carbon fiber. Or maybe it's shredded. I don't know. Either way, very, very nice. You can thumb flick the hole, but you can't reverse flick it. And this thing also has a very deep, 
thin, hollow grind, very thin behind the edge. Just, just all around cool knife. I like the knife a lot. Very awesome. Next up. Now this one I just recently showed on the channel. Another concept. This is the concept excipitor. Excipitor. Now this, it, it feels like a very good quality knife. They're around $180, $190, but it is a solid, solid front flipper. I mean, it's very easy to front flip because you, you, know, you have such a good grip on it and it just works really good. The micarta is green micarta. It comes in other materials like carbon fiber and Timascus, but I really like the green micarta. And yeah, it just feels like a solid, solid knife. S35VN, drop point blade, fantastic ergos. The build quality is phenomenal on this thing. It really feels like an expensive knife in your hand. Crowned spine, that's another thing. And, you know, I'm a sucker for a crowned spine. Very nice. Very, very nice. Next, I also recently showed this one, the Kubi Vagrant. Now, this one's a little bit more affordable, around the $85, $86 mark, but it is all titanium, OS 10, which OS 10 is similar to like a VG10 154CM. Very, very stainless with great edge retention, and it takes a very keen edge. You can get a, a great mirror polish finish with still keeping some bite. It does really good, very thin. Like, it's just a, a great steel. Great all-around steel for knives. And since you don't have a flipper tab right here, and it's got the reverse flicking hole, you get a full grip on this three-inch blade. So, this is a great buy, guys. I can't express that enough. Very, very solid. Oh, that was my fault. Kubi's doing a great job with their knives. The action's amazing. The detent's really good. Like I said, great ergos for such a small knife. Great blade shape for EDC. And yeah, it, great knife, man. Good job, Kubi. All right, we have what? Two, one more? One more. And now this knife is just cool. So... This knife is just cool all around. The Boker Albatross. Carbon fiber on one side. Looks like shredded carbon fiber on one side. Titanium frame lock on the other. Titanium clip. It doesn't have a lock bar insert, but still really good. It must be carbonized. And it's just cool, man. It is a chunky um, little knife because it's not big. But man, is it tall or thick. <laughs> It's uh, you can get a full grip on it, especially if you take advantage of this spot right there. Otherwise, it's a three finger knife. But with that spot right here, man, you really lock in. It actually kind of feels good. Now, it's not going to be your best EDC knife or anything like that. But the action's really good. The lockup's really strong. You can reverse flick it because it gives you this little um, the screw for the for the thumb stud. And it's just a solid little knife. Um, I think it's so cool. It does have VG10 steel. There's a Boker Plus, which the Boker Plus knives are a little bit better quality than their others. Thin hollow grind. Chunky blade stock for sure. And like Stasa23 would say, because this is his knife, belly fidets. Love the stone wash. The stone wash looks really good. It'll definitely hide some scratches. Detent is super clicky. Very cool knife, man. I like this little guy. It's just cool, man. That's it. It's just cool. So if you're into cool knives, it kind of reminds me of like a pirate's knife kind of. But yeah, if you're into cool looking knives, this is definitely a cool looking knife. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I have a lot of cool content coming up. A bunch of sharpening, modding, and lots of reviews coming up. And... Yeah, so watch out for that stuff. I've just been a little busy the past couple days, you know, putting stuff together and working on stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.